When you fly in an aircraft equipped with a glass cockpit like the Garmin G1000, you're gaining experience in what the FAA has come to define as a Technically Advanced Airplane, or TAA. 61.129J defines the Technically Advanced Airplane in the context of commercial training as having a primary flight display, or PFD, which includes, at a minimum, the so-called Big Six instruments. Having an MFD, which includes a moving map using GPS with aircraft position, and a two-axis autopilot. This means we can control the pitch axis and the roll axis using the autopilot. The Cirrus SR-22 here demonstrates those components of the TAA. An aircraft like the Cessna Citation also demonstrates this. Here the PFD and MFD are combined on one display, but still meet the requirements just as the G-1000 does with multiple displays. More and more general aviation aircraft come equipped with some form of glass cockpit, making them technically advanced airplanes. Many of us receive training in the traditional round dial or steam gauge cockpit. There are advantages to be sure of developing basic skills using basic instruments like honing a sharper sense of awareness. But because of the training standards in place, many of us, like myself, weren't required to have any experience in a technically advanced airplane, right up through certification as an instructor. Glass cockpits provide a vast improvement for the pilot's situational awareness. However, many accidents are attributed to the pilot's lack of understanding of the avionics. During the 2010s, an effort was made to recognize this shifting trend and incorporate new technology into the training environment. The FAA developed a new training standard called FITS, which emphasized scenario-based training to help pilots develop the risk management and systems knowledge needed to operate TAAs. That's where courses like the Flight Insight Transition to Glass Cockpit come in. We'll be looking at the functionality of all aspects of the G-1000 in the context of real-world flight scenarios. In the process, you'll develop the understanding of knowing how to operate the systems at your disposal during every phase of either an IFR or VFR flight. The FAA has continued incorporating TAA training into the official certification standards. For example, pilots receiving their commercial certificates for an airplane single engine rating look to 61.129A for their requirements. It used to be that part of the requirement was to complete 10 hours in a so-called complex aircraft. So when I was time building for my commercial, I flew a Piper Aero. Complex because of its retractable landing gear, flaps, and constant speed propeller. However, the regs now allow for those 10 hours to consist in part or in whole in training in a technically advanced aircraft. As the industry and training standards move forward, we'll start seeing more of an emphasis on glass cockpits like the G1000. So you're making a great investment in yourself by learning about them now, regardless of when it is that you actually plan to fly a TAA.